Hello and welcome to episode two of season two of K9 Corner. I'm your host, Jackson Ray, and I'm joined in the kennel by Angel Madera and Yuli Ruiz Ramon. Hello, hello. How you doing? Good, good. All right, Yuli, start off this episode for us. Well, the recent things happening, the month of October, I think that's a very big um, event. Well, just the entire month of October every year. Um, Halloween, it'll become sooner than you think. And the, this might sound weird, but the pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks, you gotta remember that that's leaving soon. Uh, is it any good? Yes, it's very good. They I mean, do that's, it. that's, that's all I hear, you know. It's like a big one. thing every year. That's like everyone, all, everyone, all the uh, certain group of gr um, people go crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you a coffee guy? No, I don't, I don't like coffee. Nah, I, Iced I don't coffee really... guy? No, uh, no coffee. No, I don't really oh. drink coffee either. You drink like the, the, what is it, the pumpkin spice? You drink all that? like? Uh, not like literally all the coffee, but like I, I just do what tastes good. He buys it in hordes so like he can have it throughout <laughs> the rest of the year. And okay. like pallets, pallets with like Starbucks okay. coffee and maybe, stuff. Maybe, maybe we bought it in bulk from Sam's Club one time. <laughs> <laughs> guy. Nah, I do have a, a, a more serious topic to talk about today. Uh, we got uh, Hurricane Milton, which is uh, touching down today. Um, it's it's crazy because like just all coming from the Gulf of Mexico and like just Florida is is suffering so much like I don't know I, I'm sorry let's just bring this up yeah. all you guys but I mean first we we went through Hurricane Helene where we like felt it all the way over here we felt the rain during the football game yeah. we felt it was crazy you know we were all getting soaked a little bit of flooding downtown and then now we have another um, like another like and this one's worse too yeah this is worse it's a it's a what's it called a, a section five or what's it called um category Cla category five category, yeah, category five i'm sorry no. category five hurricane it's just it's crazy back-to-back -back hurricanes in florida like my condolences to all the families like are affected the people that like evacuated lost their homes as well lost their their literally everything yeah they built up and so um it's it's, it's pretty upsetting so i i don't know i just hope you guys stay stay tuned because it's like you know, with, with what's happening, what's, that, yeah. what's happening? Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, mm -hmm. and it's very rare for two hurricanes, like, within a, the same month, basically. It's crazy. It was, a, it was like, it was a, what, a two-week difference. Yeah. It's like a two-week difference, and I don't know, just, like, just my condolences to all the families and to anybody affected, uh, anybody that has family out there in Florida. I know I have a, an aunt out there, so, uh, you know, I just, I just hope everybody stays safe and keep up with the, with the, the weather, and, yeah. Yeah, hope everyone makes it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I'm going to switch the topic over to something less sad and bring the mood back yeah. up. Uh, if you guys, like, interested in anything, October time, and I got some events to get you out of the house. So, uh, first we got the Indiana Fear Farm. Always go to that. Uh, there's also, like, Hannah Haunted Acres, but I'm not a big, like, jump scare guy. I would never go to the one of those. You guys like those? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. Yeah. I think I think next weekend I'm gonna go to Fear Farm. More this weekend, this Friday. They sound fun. Yeah, it's, I don't. I, I want to go when Yuli's not there. I don't want to get jump scared. By oh him. yeah, yeah. Cause the band. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we do that every year. Yeah, we got the band going out there. So I just, I'm, I'm saying I do Any not. Any specific get days by that you're doing that? Specific days. Next day that we're the band is doing it is Sunday. So Sunday? I guess I'm not being there Sunday. Yeah. I won't <laughs> be there Sunday. Yuli, what are you dressing up as? Who am I dressing up as? I don't know. It's kind of random. Oh, it's just random when you yeah. get there. All right, what, well, what, like, yeah, what else is there to do yeah, besides, so like, I don't like stuff? that. If you want to go with, like, if you got little siblings, uh, there's always the zoo boo at the Indianapolis Zoo. It's, like, decorating the zoo yeah, Halloween yeah. time. And then there's also Dull Street Farm. It's, like, right down the road. It's always classic. Um, and then if you're not really into Halloween time, don't like that stuff. There's always like concerts you could go to. Actually, Angel, you're a performer. Are you performing anytime soon? Yeah, we're performing this weekend perform next weekend and we did perform the weekend before this weekend so you know thanks be to god we have the the, the whole month of yeah. october full and there's always concerts and then sporting events happening uh pacers preseason tickets are on sale now go to there uh colts games just get out of the house you know i don't like to sit indoors <laughs> nah. especially now in this time where you can like put just put on a sweater yeah put on some like you know how those fall fits I feel like it's a perfect time to go out there and show the fall face, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Jackson, tell us what we're doing today, who we're bringing on today. On All right, show. well, I'll get our guest in here. Uh, today we're joined by Mr. Jake Nerney, our new basketball coach. Come on in, come on in. Hey. Hey, Mr. Nerney. How's it going? Hey, hello. How you doing? Good. Hey. What's going on? What's going on? How you doing? Good, good, good. 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 Good.
All right, for those of you that don't know, Mr. Nerney is our new basketball coach. But before we talk about you at Frankfurt, uh, could you tell us about like your past coaching experiences? Yeah, so I've been coaching since I was 18. Um, so after I finished uh, high school, uh, my high school coach at the time gave me an opportunity with the uh, youth sports program that he, that he has. And I've uh, been doing that for about 10, 11 years now. And then um, after I, when I was in college, I was a student assistant my junior and senior year. Um, I understand Gerard there. And then spent the last six years coaching collegiately um, at a couple different locations. I was up at Bethel, uh, Marion University. And then last year, I was the lead assistant at St. Mary of the Woods College in Terre Haute. So. And uh, you went to college at UND, right? Correct. And we heard you ran track there, is that true? Yeah, so I ran my first uh, two years, um, but I had a couple leg surgeries. And uh, although I did get uh, a track suit and a pair of running shoes out of it, uh, you know, I figured it was probably time to try something a little bit different. Um, so yeah, so I ended up being a manager and it was, uh, it was, it was a really great experience there. Uh, go Hounds, so yeah. yeah. You said you, you ran, you did sprints, right? Mm -hmm. What yep. sprints did you do? Um, so in college, I was more of a 200, 400 guy. Um, in high school, I ran the one, two, and then uh, the relays, the like relay. the four by one. Yeah, four yeah, by yeah, one. yeah. Yep. That's, a, that's a straight sprinter right there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> straight sprinter. Uh, we heard you, did you have any records at that school? Yeah, so when I graduated high school, I had like five or six. Um, I had the one, two, a couple of the relays, and then um, had like a four by two or it was like a medley relay. Um, yeah, so I had, you know, five or six of those and um, yeah. That's nice, that's nice. Um, so uh, I want to get into like, get to know you a little bit more. So could you tell us like where you grew up, where you're from? Yeah, so I grew up in Westfield. Um, so um, kind of right on the border of Westfield and Carmel. So like technically a Carmel address, but went to the Westfield school system. Uh, and then for high school, I went to University High School uh, in, uh, uh, in Carmel. So yeah. it's a small private school there. Yeah, you like, did you like University High School better than Westfield? Yeah, I mean, you know, it was a really good experience. I mean, you know, really each of them were a little bit different. Um, you know, it was something where, um, you know, obviously at the middle school, or middle school and younger and all that, you get to meet a really big group of people. Um, you know, get to make a lot of those friends and things like that. And then at University, I mean, it was something where it really prepared me for, um, you know, college, both athletically and academically, because it was a very, um, you know, very tough school in terms of the expectations academically and um, things like that. So, yeah. It was, what, what, were, what, were you, what was your pathway? What were you studying um, at the university? Yeah, so I originally, uh, so I studied sport management. Um, you know, I, uh, I, I went into it. I knew I wanted to be a basketball coach, uh, knew I wanted to coach collegiately. And so I, you know, kind of, I was like, hey, might as well do sport management. Um, you know, really enjoyed the facility, you know, aspect of that as well. And uh, so did that, yep. Uh, you did mention Marion as well, like mm -hmm. outside of the, the, the high school, you were the, the basketball or the, the director of basketball operations. Yeah, so my, so my first year I was the director of basketball operations. Um, and then the next three, I was an, uh, I was an assistant coach. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, it was a, it was a you know good experience there. Met 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 a lot of really good people. Uh, you know, was blessed to coach some some pretty talented players who were also you know good people. And um, yeah, it was it was a, it was a good experience for me. It was me. like a bunch of networking and like just like getting to know people and like getting that experience and coaching. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So well, we're glad to have you at Frankfurt. Uh, is it weird stepping down from college now to high school? Um, no, I mean, you know, really it's uh, just something where basketball is basketball, really wherever you're at. And then I think something that uh, really helped me and my development and my confidence here uh, is, you know, really a couple of things. I mean, obviously, you know, having coached youth sports for a long time, you know, kids ranging from second grade through high schoolers, you know, kids who were very, very talented and then kids who, you know, weren't really able to dribble. So, um, you know, it's something where that experience really benefited me and then, uh, you know, just having really good mentors like Brandon Lafferman, uh, who I played for and then worked for for a long time. Uh, Jesse McClung, who I, I, I worked for at St. Mary of the Woods. Um, you know, and then I think the other thing was just a lot of the players that I coached, just, you know, developing those relationships, everything like that. Um, 
yeah. And so, I mean, it's it's been a really good experience so far. Been really, really blessed. So. Yeah. And then here at Frankfurt, you're the coach, but we also know you teach mm -hmm. and you help out with the special ed um, department. Yep. Uh, what made you get into that? Yeah. So uh, when I was growing up, there was um, a couple kids that I went to school with who I, I, you know, I later found out they were special education kids. Um, but I never really understood why they were, you know, like kind of treated differently um, by kids and, you know, like in my grade and, you know, various grades. Um, and so kind of when I later found out that I just, you know, really something that stuck with me was just kind of the opportunity to um, kind of help break that stigma or, you know, just, just really create a, a great environment for them. Um, and so, yeah, and it's just kind of where I felt like I could help, help the most. And, um, yeah, so I've been absolutely loving it. Uh, just a little, like, follow-up question to that. Did, so you start out as a basketball coach, but did you have to get any more um, training or mm -hmm. certification in order to, to teach the, the special ed? Yeah, so uh, I'm currently in a transition to teaching program. Uh -huh. And so, yeah, so, like, with that, um, that's for people who their degrees um, in college are not uh, under that education realm. And so it gives, uh, you know, people uh, like me an opportunity to, you know, transition into, into education. And honestly, I wish I had done it, uh, you know, a few years ago because I'm, I'm, I'm really loving it. Um, you know, I almost wish I did it right out of college. Um, so, yeah, it's been a great experience so far, though. That's really inspiring. Yeah, yeah. that's for real. That's, that's beautiful. That's All beautiful. right, well, thank you for that story. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm going to send it over to the kennel for the Fast Five questions. They'll explain that. All right, so we have a uh, coming back, you know, section where we have five questions for you and you have five seconds to answer each one all okay. right so you if you want to get us started all right would you rather teach middle school elementary high school or be a professor at college uh i'm loving high school but middle school would also be fun yeah really yeah. So oh yeah they need they need teachers over there too don't yeah. they yeah, yeah yeah i mean all right middle school has a, yeah. a solid answer all right what other sport would you coach besides basketball Oh, I would say probably track um, or kickball. You know, I'm 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 pretty decent at that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hi, right, Yuli. Mm, well, where ten years ago, where did you expect to to end up? Wow. Uh, well, in my senior yearbook, I put that I was going to be unicycling in Sweden. Um, <laughs> but you know, I'm 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 here in Frankfurt, so. <laughs> yeah. uh, for sure, for uh, sure. Um, what's the best basketball team in the NBA right now? <sighs> Uh, I mean, Celtics obviously won last year, so I mean, I would say Celtics really brought everybody back. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, for sure. Yeah. Uh, you want to guess the last question, Yuli? If you were to turn into any food, what food would you be? Oh, hot dog, easily. <laughs> this would be busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, of All course, right. of course. That's a, that's, that's a great answer. It's a funny answer. Yeah. All right, we do have um, some extra questions for you from our directors. If we can go ahead and cut to the director's question, please. Hello, I am Nora, the technical director, and here's Ethan, the director director, with the director's question. Um, how does it feel to hold a eight-year-long track record? Yeah. All right, so how does it feel to be the eight-year-long track record? Thank you, directors, for that question. Uh, I mean, feels good. Um, you know, it's something where, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I used to be fast, so, you know, I'm, I'm definitely... Uh, you know, still holding on to that, um, but yeah, feels really good, and uh, also thankful to be at a really small, you know, have gone to a really small high school. That also helps. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And then Jackson? All right, yeah, so now I have like a little bonus question for mm -hmm. you, last question for you. So it's actually two females. Would you rather like Sabrina Carpenter or Chaperone? I don't know if you know either of them, but I'll be honest, uh, I do not know either one of them. Um, I, I mean, I would say, who's the one on the left? Sabrina Carpenter. Okay, yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, we'll, go with, we'll go with her. All right. So. Go with Sabrina Carpenter. Yeah. All right, well, that's all we have for you. Awesome. Uh, thank you for joining yep. us. Thank, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Nerdy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, come play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you all for watching. I'd like to thank the crew for putting this together. Uh, anything else from you guys? Uh, stay tuned for the uh, Hurricane Milton. Uh, keep watching the news and just stay safe out here, guys.
Yeah. Thank you to everyone for watching. All right, that's all from us. Peace.